Today, we're gonna to talk about five life lessons I've learned from the kids book, The Little Prince. Welcome to 5 Minutes 5 Ideas. I'm your host, Samanve. The Little Prince is one of the most popular kids book. Originally written in French, it's been translated to over 345 languages. It's a simple story about the encounter of a pilot who has crash landed into a desert and a little prince from a foreign planet. But during the course of the encounter, the pilot ends up learning a lot of things from the little prince. The first lesson I learned is the importance of having an open mind. The book starts off by narrating the childhood of the pilot. It talks about how he used to be inspired deeply by documentaries about nature. He learned that a boa constrictor could swallow its prey whole hibernate up to six months to digest the food. So this inspired him to draw a picture of a boa constrictor with an elephant inside. And he took this drawing and showed it to an adult who thought it was actually a hat. So the pilot as a little kid went on to draw the x-ray image of an elephant inside the boa constrictor. The kid concludes that grown-ups always had to have everything explained to them. As simple as this statement is, it underlines the fact that grown-ups lack the imagination of kids. As the kid grew up into the pilot, he would always carry around the image of the boa constrictor with him. Any grown-up he had to talk to who would first show that drawing. And if they concluded that it was a hat and not a boa constrictor swallowing an elephant, he would know not to talk to them about primeval forests or stars, but to instead talk about neckties, bridge, golf, or politics. And the grown-ups would often think of him as a sensible man. The second lesson I learned from the book is what really matters in life. As the pilot tells us more about the little prince, he highlights the fact that the little prince is from a planet called B612. He also highlights that the only reason reason he told us the exact detail and the name of the planet is because we are a grown-up and because of the grown-up ways. And what he means by that is that if you were to tell a grown-up that you've just made a new friend, they'll never ask you questions about what really matters. What does he sound like? What game does he like playing? Does he like collecting butterflies? Instead, the grown-up would ask you how old your friend is, whether he has got any brothers, how much money does his dad make? The pilot highlights that we always care about things that don't really matter as much, such as money someone earns, someone's age. Instead, you really should be focusing on, on the character of the person. The third lesson I learned is the importance of removing bad habits early. As the pilot and the little prince keep talking, the pilot soon learns the planet of the little prince is quite small. And during a discussion about planting seeds, the little prince highlights that on his planet, there's good and bad seeds. So the good seeds are the ones that give you flowers. And the bad seeds are baobab seeds. And if you know anything about baobab trees, is that they grow up to be huge. The Little Prince highlights that it's extremely important to get rid of those baobab seeds before they get a chance to grow too big because they will end up destroying the little planet. The analogy of this story is that the baobab tree seed represent a bad habit that we see coming up in ourselves. And it's important to get rid of those as soon as you spot them. The fourth lesson I learned is how harmful excessive accumulation of money can really be. As the Little Prince leaves his planet B612 to, to explore all of the worlds out there, he comes across many planets with eccentric inhabitants. One of the planets he goes to is inhabited by a man dressed in suit and tie, sitting at a desk. And all he's doing is mindless calculations. This is an analogy of grown-ups making as much money as they can just for the sake of it. And as the little prince comes onto the planet, he starts questioning the man. Man in the suit talks about how he's only been interrupted three times from counting. And one of them is when he got an attack of rheumatism because he wasn't getting too much exercise. Now this is a perfect analogy for the busy life that we live today where a lot of us often take our work so seriously to neglect our health and well-being. The fifth lesson I learned is busy is our creation. The fifth planet that the little prince goes to is inhabited by a lamplighter and a lamp. As the little prince lands on the planet he notices all the lamplighter is doing is turning on the lamp and turning off the lamp every minute. The little prince naturally questions the lamplighter who says that he's only doing it because those are the orders. And the little prince is confused as to how absurd these orders are. And naturally the lamplighter goes on to say that every year the planet has been turning faster and faster. So the day on the planet only lasts a minute. Therefore, he has never got any time to rest and he's just so busy. And the little prince naturally suggests that if only the lamplighter were to walk slowly towards the sun, the day for him will last as long as possible. The lamplighter quickly dismisses it and highlights how important it is that 
that he carry out his order as he see fit. And I think this story has a very strong parallel to our daily lives as we spend so much of our time working and we pretend that we don't really have much time to relax. And you have to stop and wonder whether or not those are restrictions we're putting on ourselves, just like the lamplighter. That wraps up five lessons I've learned from the book, The Little Prince. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.